Trump's victory over his political opponent, Kamala Harris, in America's election ushers in a perilous new era for the United States and the rest of the world. Even at that, there's one huge lesson for Africa, especially Nigeria, to learn in the electoral system of the most powerful nation of the world. Galaxy News correspondent Labi Joseph has more in this report. The most glaring lesson from the U.S. election is the independence of the institutions completely from the control of the incumbent. There was a show of the fact that public officials owe allegiance to the country and not to the personality occupying the office of the president, unlike what it entails in this part of the world. If you look at the dynamics of what informed the election of Donald Trump, you know, Donald Trump, you know, has campaigned very smartly on the supremacy of the American people. It's like uh, night and day. Um, you can see that what they have there, I, I don't know exactly what they call it, but it is truly independent. Unlike the hypocrisy we have here in Nigeria, we call it electoral, um, independent, um, national, uh, whatever, but you can see that it is actually not independent because a lot of people can influence it. You see, that alone shows you that there's a difference between what is happening in America and what happens in Nigeria. And I don't even generalize in the whole of Africa because in, in, in some African nations, some African nations have even moved forward. A level play ground in the political space means the wish of the people is paramount and will ever come to fall any time. There can never be true democracy in any country in which some people are above the constitution. The, the issue of voting in America is not 100% uh, uh, let me say 100% um, rigging. It's not. We have seen that at least they have a system that allows not only for advanced voting, that also allows for postal voting, life made easy. So you don't have to go and queue up in a polling station. Electoral process they are fully incorporates um, 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 what, do, what do you call it now? Um, the, the way um, the way um, uh, uh, votes are transmitted. Unlike what happened in Nigeria here, we are also have it in our ele um, um, uh, um, electoral art that votes are to be transmitted through electronic means. But um, you saw what the judgment judgment said. It was completely denied that uh, the transmission um, was no longer is not compulsory. Even though we were, they were, we were told there were, were hiccups. In a nutshell, Nigeria needs to strengthen its institutions and make them functional for things to work accordingly for the benefit of the majority. From Lagos, this is Lebi Joseph reporting for Galaxy TV News.